All right, you're welcome back. And now we're crossing over to the Ashanti region to speak to our regional correspondent, Evans Enkum. Now, he's been following up on individuals who ply their trade between Accra and Kumasi, and he's been finding out how drivers who transport passengers between Kumasi and Accra are faring. Evans, thank you so much for joining us on air again. This will be the second time this morning. Absolutely, it is. Thank you so much for having me, Bella. All right. So, Evans, what's the situation with drivers who ply the Accra Kumasi route? With the partial lockdown, of course, we know that we are not allowed to cross to the other regions as well. How is this affecting them? Uh, Bella, so we are looking at this from two perspectives. One has to do with the owners of these. Um, buses and the other one has to do with the drivers yeah. like you mentioned with the, you mentioned the driver. let me just begin with the drivers okay now what is happening is that we didn't want this whole conversation to be very clumsy so we use the vip as a case study mm. uh, vip operates the largest i mean uh, transport service when you are looking at the kumase Accra route mm -hmm. and in the vip we decided to use the 28 seater bus of course it takes 31 passengers but it's been known as 26, uh, 28 seater bus. So I, I, I'm also using that one as a case study. Now, every day, every day, 50 buses, every day, 50 buses uh, move from um, Kumase to Accra. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the average, a driver takes 1,000 Ghana cities. That is every month. We are done with 14 days. Uh, we don't know if this whole thing is going to be extended. If it's going to be extended, then we will know as to whether the owners of these uh, buses will still pay their drivers uh, as they uh, remain at home. But what they are losing now has to do with the commission. For instance, if you take a VIP bus, you know, um, the loading fee, I mean, all the goods that goes there, mm. um, the, the, the amount of money that are accrued from that particular component of the bus goes to the driver. So that is what they are losing. And I can tell you that Every month or every day, a driver is working on the average, sometimes 500 Ghana cities. Wow. As a um, um, I mean, commission. So um, every month, if we are combining their salary to that of commission that they get uh, from the uh, loading bay, mm -hmm. then we should be talking about two to 2,500 Ghana cities every month. Wow. So now they are losing up. Driver is losing approximately 1,500 cities a day. But for the monthly salary, while well, it is stipulated, and we are done with only 14 days, so it will be very premature to say that uh, the drivers are going to lose the monthly salary. But let's talk about the operators, because mm -hmm. if the operators are losing or the bus owners are losing, then the drivers will also lose as well, yeah. invariably. Now, this is how much they get if, I mean, on the average, the 50 buses, or all things being equal, 50 buses, VIP buses leave Accra or Kumasi to Accra. Mm -hmm. Now, each bus, like I said, takes 50 Ghana cities. So multiply 50 Ghana cities by 31. Uh, but I don't know how um, how well you perform in mass, whether you are the sprinter type or the marathon type. <laughs> but if you to multiply 50 Ghana cities by 31, we are talking about 1,550 Ghana cities. Yes. Yes, per a bus. Now, multiply that by the number of buses that leave Accra to Kumasi. So we are talking about approximately 50 buses leaving yeah. Accra to Kumasi to Accra. Now, multiply 1,550 by the number of buses, 50 here. So we are talking about 77,500 Ghana cities, hmm. which is 775 million old Ghana, Ghana cities. cities. Yeah. Now, multiply 77,000. Uh, 500 Ghana City by the number of days we are going to, they are going to remain at home. That's 14 days. And we are talking about 1,085,000 Ghana City. So it's not a joke. That's how much we are losing on the average. This, this is unbelievable. But I mean, I'm sure yeah. that they may have heard that there might be an extension of the lockdown. Do they have an alternative as to how they can still be making this money, um, you know, whilst we're under lockdown? The yeah, only lifeline is the passengers. So if the passengers are not traveling, then the bus will have to be grounded. So they don't have any alternative, unless, of course, um, maybe the government wrote them into the uh, special services for these health workers. But then again, you ask yourself, how many of these workers are even 
working at mm -hmm. the front line. Mm -hmm. So it is insignificant if you are to compare that to the number of passengers that bought the uh, VIP buses on a single day. It is insignificant. And then pathetically, you know, most of these buses are filled on um, credit facility. Yeah. So when they the want to get the money, the money passes through. Uh, the money passes through uh, their, their their banks, and the banks also. Uh, take away the uh, the, uh, the the components for I mean uh, because it's on it's uh, uh, the, the, most of the buses were bought on on credit basis. Wow. Now I, I know that government is also making arrangements to provide stimulus packages for some of these small scale businesses and all of that. I'm sure they are aware of it. Do they intend to take advantage of this just to at least cushion them at this time when they are making a loss of about a million every month? Or maybe in two weeks, well, I should say. Mm, well, in the case of the bus operators, I don't know how they are, they are if, even if they are to be provided with a stimulus package, I don't know how that is going to work for them because of their mode of operation. We are talking about uh, a, 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 a business that only, uh, or which life depends solely on passengers, right? Now, if you are talking about the passengers, yes, of course. I mean, most of them are businessmen because I'm um, one of the ardent, I mean, patronage. I mean, or, I, I, I mean, ardent uh, passengers as far as VIP buses because I, I, I use that bus a lot. Um, most of the people that are the passengers that I meet on the bus, they, they, they are they are normally I mean business people who are contributing significantly to the informal sector mm -hmm. and then also having some level of positive impact on the larger economy. Even if they are benefiting, yes, yourself, so long as these buses are not moving, how, how are these uh, 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 transport operators going to benefit? Maybe, unless, of course, um, uh, Kumasi Accra Corridor, that particular barrier is removed, I'm talking about the lockdown, that's the only way they will survive. Otherwise, they will have to venture into other businesses. Yeah, that's true. But anyway, Evans, thank you so much. And I know you gave us some updates on the particular area that, that you are in later tomorrow. And so I'll leave you to continue your work. But thank you for the updates.